mushroom clouds snake skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. How about if you were to dissolve copper? Um, if you try to dissolve it in water, it should be obvious to you that's not going to work. I mean, the roofs of the parliament buildings and the Supreme Court are made out of copper, and they're not dissolving, at least not at an appreciable rate. So you might have to do something a little different. Suppose we try it first, and then we'll figure out what the chemistry looks like. The best thing I could think of that is made out of copper is a penny. There it is there. And actually, let's turn it over because I don't like her very much, so we're going to see what happens. When... It's probably against the law to do this. I should have brought an American penny. <laughs> Tally-ho, Elizabeth. This is 50% nitric acid. And you can see right away something's happening. You can see some bubbles coming out of this. Long live the queen. <laughs> uh, you can see a few things. I don't know if you can see the color, but there's a lot of greenish coloration coming off of this, and that's the copper ion going into solution. Whenever you see a blue-green sort of aqua color in solution, there are probably copper ions in it. Um, the other thing you can see are the bubbles coming out, so you've got to explain that as well. And this is a redox reaction. Whenever a metal dissolves in a liquid, there is undoubtedly a redox reaction going on because the metal is being oxidized. It's going from pure metal, valence of zero, to copper ions. Those are the blue things. I don't know if you can see any blue color now. Uh -oh. And this toxic brown gas is coming out the top here. <laughs> Slow that down a little bit. So what's going on? How come the copper is dissolving and what's that brown gas coming off the top? Well, you have to explain it in terms of something being oxidized and something being reduced. So you've got to split this reaction into two so-called half reactions. One showing the oxidation with the release of electrons, and the other showing a reduction with which will take in those electrons and reduce something. So the copper gets oxidized. This one's easy because we know that blue ions in solution mean copper plus two ions. So copper goes to Cu plus two, and you've got to balance this thing so there's a couple of electrons being released. This is why I say dissolution of metals like rusting of your car, for instance, this is also a redox process where the metal becomes metal ions, and then obviously it's not much use to you. It's not going to hold your car together anymore. The only thing in there which is easily reducible is the nitrate ion, and the nitrate is part of the nitric acid. Again, you are going to have to come to recognize this as being a soluble compound, so HNO3 is, is actually hydrogen ions and nitrate ions. The nitrate ions plus the hydrogen ions pick up the two electrons from the oxidation and become N2O4 plus water. So it's the nitrate that gets reduced, and it becomes dinitrogen tetroxide, which is also present as two NO2s, and it's that which is the, uh, boy, this thing's really going now. Oh, might as well show it to you. Oops, you can't even see it's moving around. It's so active. So that penny will be gone momentarily, I would say. It's probably, uh, yeah, it's getting pretty thin. I'd say she never looked better, actually. <laughs> I'm not a monarchist, as you can see. So the uh, nitrate gets reduced to N2O4. And as we'll see next time, there's an easy way of balancing these reactions. <laughs>